Hi, my name is Andy Sykes. I'm an award-winning animator and illustrator based in the UK. Welcome to my lessons on Flash CS5. This is my website, hexjibber.com. You can check out my animation, my illustration, my interactive work, and also more of my video tutorials in Flash. Enjoy. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on exporting for the web in Flash CS5. Now you'll see that I'm using my lip sync animation from my lip syncing tutorial, which I hope you've checked out. And I've added this background, which is a photograph of the North Yorkshire Dales that I took on my travels. This photo is a PSD that I've imported. So it's a bitmap image. So if we zoom in, you can see that it breaks apart into pixels as we zoom in further and further. But our picture of our face doesn't because it's a vector. This is an important distinction. So to export for the web, what we'll be producing is a .swf file. And you may have created one before, but I'll just go over all the different ways you can do that. If you've ever used uh, the test movie or test scene functions in the control menu, I'll just try out testing a scene now. Hi, welcome to my tutorial on lip syncing in Flash. What Flash will do is it will pop up a window, and in that window will be your .swf file. If we take a look in the folder that my files are in, we're in a folder called export, and I've got my export web.fla. Flash has created an export web underscore scene one dot swf, and that's what we just watched. So that is a web file of the scene of my lip syncing. So if we double click on that. Hi, welcome to my tutorial on lip syncing in Flash. It opens it up again. You may have also used in the control menu, test movie. If we click on that. Hi, welcome to my... Then Flash also creates an SWF. And you can see it here in our export folder. Uh, export web.swf. So instead of just publishing that one scene, Flash has created an SWF for all the scenes in my export web file. But given that we've only got one scene, if you check out down here, uh, the two files are essentially identical. I'm just going to delete those two files because we don't need them for the moment. But test movie and test scene are really only for testing your document out. Really, if you want to publish your animation for the web, you want to be using the publish functions that are here in the file menu. First off, let's have a look at publish settings. I'm going to click on that. You see we get this uh, dialog box here. And in this box, it's telling us that we're using Flash Player 10. That's what we're going to export to in our SWF. Uh, we're using ActionScript 3. Here in the Images and Sounds section, it says JPEG quality. Now, you remember that I said that I've imported a PSD. But what Flash does is any bitmap object that you import, so a PSD, a JPEG, a PNG, a GIF, uh, it will convert that into a JPEG for embedding in the SWF file. So anything that's a bitmap will end up being converted into a JPEG in the SWF file. So that's what this JPEG quality refers to. At the moment it's set to 80, so it's at quite a high quality. And obviously the higher your JPEG quality, the more space that will take up, the larger your SWF file will be, and the longer it will take to download on the internet. In Flash CS5, the quality of your JPEGs are actually reflected in any of the bitmaps in your scene, whereas in previous versions they weren't. So to illustrate the difference in quality, I'm going to pull down my JPEG quality from 80 to 0 and click OK. And keep your eye on the background bitmap and see how it changes. And you can see that it's made our background image very blocky and very, very simple. That's because it's applied a lot of JPEG compression. The file size will now be a lot smaller, but it doesn't look so great. So let's go to our publish settings again. I'm going to turn on Enable JPEG Deblocking and click OK. And you can see what that's done is it's blurred out some of those blocks. It's kept the same low quality, but it's just blurred it a bit so it's not quite as noticeable. But it still doesn't really look very good, so I think I'm going to bump it back up to 80. Because it looks a lot better. Click OK. And you can see in Flash CS5, it previews your JPEG quality in the actual scene. 
In previous versions of Flash it didn't do that, but now it does. So let's go back to our published settings. I'm going to untick enable JPEG deblocking. Next up we've got settings for the quality of our audio streams and audio events. If you checked out my tutorial on sound in Flash, then you'll know the difference between an audio stream and an audio event. You can see at the moment we've got our audio stream set to MP3, 16 kilobits per second and mono. That's a pretty low quality. If we play our sound in Flash, Hi, welcome to my tutorial. The sound doesn't reflect those published settings. It'll play your sound at the quality you imported it. However, in our SWF, if we just do a quick test movie, Hi, welcome to my tutorial on lip syncing in Flash. You can hear that the quality of the sound is quite tinny there. It's using our 16 kilobits per second uh, compression in our SWF file. So let's change that. Let's go back up to publish settings. Because I'm using an audio stream in my file, because I'm using lip syncing and I need to use streaming audio, I'm going to change these audio stream settings. I'm going to click on set. You can see at the moment the compression is set to MP3. I'm going to leave that. Uh, but I'm going to change the bit rate from 16 kilobits per second to 128 kilobits per second. That's a bit nearer CD quality. And I'm going to untick convert stereo to mono so that we have a nice stereo track. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to leave the audio event settings alone because I don't have any audio events in my file. I'm just using streaming audio. So if we click OK. And then uh, I'm going to test movie. Hi, welcome to my tutorial on lip syncing in Flash. And you can hear there that our sound quality is much nicer at 128 kilobits per second. Next up, I want to show you the HTML tab in the publishing settings. What Flash can do is it can publish not just an SWF, but it can embed it in some HTML for you. So here are all the settings that you would have in your HTML. Uh, you've got how big you want the movie to be. At the moment I've got quite a big movie that's at 720p, but you could make it a lot smaller if you wanted. You choose for it to be pause at the start, loop the quality of the movie in the HTML, because uh, in Flash Player you can reduce the quality of the vectors as well as the bitmaps, so it'll super simplify all your vector shapes if you set it on a low setting. I'm going to leave that on high and click OK. So to get Flash to generate that HTML for us, we can go to Publish Preview and where it says Default HTML or HTML, click on that and here we go. Hi, welcome to my tutorial on lip syncing in Flash. You can see that Flash has created a piece of HTML for us and embedded our SWF in it. So if I take a look in our export folder, you can see that we've got an export.html file there, and that's embedding our export web.swf inside it. Something else to take a look at is formats. At the moment, in our published settings, we've got Flash and HTML selected. So when I go to File, Publish, it will create both the HTML and the SWF file, which you can see here. But Flash can also export GIF images, JPEG images, PNGs. It can export as a Windows projector or a Macintosh projector. And it's up to you if you want to export those as well. If you find those useful, you can tick the box next to them and select where they're going to be published to on your hard drive. At the moment, I'm just going to leave it on Flash and HTML click OK. There's one more way to export an SWF. If you go up to your file menu, go to export, go to export movie, then you'll get a box like this. It'll ask you whether you want to export your file. Uh, here it says export.swf. At the bottom we can see the format is set to SWF and I can click save. I've already got an export.swf there so I'll click on replace and it'll export it for me. So that's doing exactly the same as publishing it, it's just a different way of doing it. Say if you just wanted to export the SWF on its own, you could just use export movie, export SWF and it would do that. 
So that's exporting for the web in Flash. Next up, I'll show you how to export for video. So Blu-ray and DVD and exporting video for the web. So have a go yourself and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hi, if you enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out the Hextuber Colouring and Activity book on my website, hextuber.com. It's suitable for kids and adults alike and you can get it from Amazon, Play.com and WH Smiths. Cheers.